guys we are live and as you know we are not the most tech people over here so give us a few minutes to figure out how can i actually zoom it and turn it around so we are not moving so you could see the best say hi hi, hi. i'm here with our amazing people and i hope you get comfortable and get some wine because we're gonna be here for a while <laughs> right, get the wine out. let's see yeah you can't get some wine, Brittany, not yet. <laughs> we are on uh, on YouTube. Oh, YouTube? YouTube at this point, and we're going to go live in the other platforms soon as well. If you guys see it, say cheese, so we know the technology works here. I'm just waiting on the password here. I think it's fine. I can wait, so maybe we can start and uh, okay. I can and then connect. We can jump on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just leave that open when she sends it to you. Thank you. Okay. I have a. It's over here on my purse. It's just trying not to get my feet. Use your feet. Carly, do you have our password from our Insta? Carly's not here. Oh, she's not here. Okay. <laughs> well, you're, you're live on YouTube. There you yeah, go. thank you. See? There you go. Where? YouTube. 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 Yeah. YouTube. Okay, so Can you... see her picture that she just took? Yeah. yeah. You guys don't mind me over here. With there you go. don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> Real, like the one that she's on. Okay. Um, I just typed in World Micro Lady on YouTube. I am my god, I see myself. Yeah, are you on YouTube? Yeah, go ahead, just type in World Micro Lady. Yeah, she's going to come up there. Yep, go there, and then you'll see live. See where it says live? Just click on that. You can start, Brene. It's fine. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started with our live demonstration, okay? So, I mean, I'm if you guys off. can, yeah, you don't need to watch that. Yes, please, thank you, because that's going to really, one, because the people watching it live are going to hear that, and yeah. it's going to be doubled. Exactly, yeah. Okay. But we now know we're exactly. But we are, we are recording it, so you guys, that's, that's the reason why I'm recording it. You're going to have it afterwards. Okay. All right, guys, so her numbing has been sitting on for about 30 to 45 minutes right now, so we're going to go ahead and we are going to remove her numbing. At this moment, you guys can have gloves on if you'd like. However, for me, it's easier to draw because I can keep her skin pulled taut a little bit more. Once you actually grab that blade, you do need to get your gloves on AS ASAP, okay? okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wipe her numbing off with distilled water and a cotton round. Do you feel a little numb right now? Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay. So she is ready to go. You always want to make sure you at least dry the brows as well because your wax pencil might not be able to go through the skin as easily as you want it to if your brows are still a little wet, okay? And I like to keep my area a little clean as I'm working. Less of a mess, okay? So remember, we're going to start with that drawing process here, okay? And we're going to start with a line of symmetry from her cupid's bow here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to give her that nice vertical line down the middle. Okay. Yep. Okay. Once you have her line from the center up, you're going to take your disposable ruler, okay? You might have a round one, you might have a straight one. Our company does have both. Both are going to be about the same regardless, okay? Now, one isn't going to make it easier for you. The points are still going to be the same, okay? Mm -hmm. So with that center line, you're going to go ahead and line up your zero, at your ruler right in the middle. Can you you do see? want to give yourself just a little bit more room to draw, okay? So you don't want to get this ruler at, on top of her eyebrows. You're not going to give yourself enough space. So you want to give yourself a good amount of space, mm -hmm. okay? 
For Miss Cindy here, we're just looking for more of a natural rounded brown, not too archy, just something more natural and something more subtle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna try to stick to her original shape, even though she's pretty sparse, you can see where the top of her hair growth is, so you can't go any higher than that for her arch, okay? So I'm gonna have you open your eyes for me. We're gonna get her beginning points, and we're gonna go straight in between the tear duct and the bridge of her nose, okay? So that's gonna start. Remember what you do to one side of the ruler, you have to take to the other side. That's how you're gonna get even symmetrics. Okay, okay. If we remember from our shaping yesterday, mm -hmm. how do we now get the tail? Where do we go from, right? We're gonna go right here from the top of her lip. Go to the outside of the eye. Yes. To the outside of the eyelid, not the actual eyelashes, because we all know everyone has some beautiful eyelashes these days. However, they might not be true to her. So we wanna go to her outside of her eyelid and we're gonna go straight angled up from that. You never wanna make an eye or an eyebrow go down. You always wanna make it go out and frame the face. If we actually frame the orbital bone, it's actually gonna close her eye and make her look more tired, okay? So her mark is right here at C. So what I do to one side, I now have to take to the other side. Sorry if my hands are cold. <laughs> at least I washed them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go and find that most, um, most important part and that's always the arch, okay? So you always want your client to look straight ahead. We're gonna go through the heiress of the eye, which is gonna still come from the cupid's bow here. And the heiress is actually the color of the eye itself. So not the pupil, not the white, but the actual color and you're gonna go up and angled from there. So remember what you do to one side, you must now take and do to the other. That's how you're gonna keep your portion, or I'm sorry, your symmetrics more even on each side, okay? You never wanna take your ruler off until you completely have the shape. So now we're gonna go in and we're gonna play connect the dots, okay? I'm gonna have her lift her head just a little bit, oh, not too much. <laughs> When you draw, you might actually have more of a box shape, but remember how you get a rounded brow or a box is actually by the way that you turn the blade, not the actual drawing that you're putting on her right now. So the shape actually has everything to do with the direction of your needle and your blade. So most of the time when you draw, they will seem super boxy or super edgy, and then you can go in with your correcting sticks and correct that. We do want to give Miss Cindy just a little bit of an eyebrow lift here. So as she gets more fabulous with age, her brow won't drop, okay? And your consistency of your thickness should usually stay pretty even from the beginning of the brow throughout the transition then slowly get thinner, okay? It shouldn't be super thick and then go super thin because her portion will be off. It won't look even or natural, okay? least make the shape and then I'll go in and I will start just making those lines a little bit more sharper a little bit more crisp so then when I'm ready to show her shape everything will just be ready to go you guys can't be afraid when you guys are microblading to get into their personal space this isn't something that you can stand far away from you do have to get really close up and personal okay I know a lot of my students in the past have just been nervous about, oh, I don't want to get too close, or I don't want to feel like I'm on top of them. Unfortunately, this is one of those procedures where you do have to get super close, okay? So now, of course, now the tricky part is to make this brow over here. Feel free to ask questions at any time. Anyone on YouTube or Instagram and Facebook, feel free to put your questions in the forums and Miss Irina can ask me the questions for you guys as well. I will. So if you guys there, please go ahead and introduce yourself. Where do you come from? What questions you might have for me? 
for me any type of contradictions you might think of, any questions on the top of your head, anything like that. I'm going to so, check the of questions. Of course, Miss Cindy did fill out all of her medical forms before she came in. She's not on any type of blood thinners. We made sure she didn't drink last night. Okay. Oh my god, I, I know that now I'm he seeing the healing results because I know that you are a model for the Vibrides. Right? Oh my god, that's huge, neck. yeah. Her dots aren't there anymore. Sorry, I'm going to see. Oh my god. Something. It worked that good? Mm -hmm. Oh wow. It, it opened my eyes like almost one centimeter up. It looks like she yep. slept It looks like I slept. Yeah, exactly. I slept like Irina, doors. Miss Irina does not sleep. Like, you know, <laughs> sleep. maybe like a cat nap, like two hours and that's yeah, about probably it. Yeah, two hours, yeah. That's about it, two to three hours a night, but... Hey, money never sleeps. Right? No. <laughs> it's not even about the money. It's about no. that I, I feel that it's, it's my job yeah. to you wanna make sure everything be everywhere and everybody gets... We're, we, we're so fortunate you came here, though. Oh, so thank you, you so much. So it's my pleasure to be here. If she comes, then it's meant to be. If she doesn't... Right. Well, I you try my best come, right. because summer, my daughter, she had therapy and I had to move something around to, to be able to make it. Thank you. I just try to, whenever we have trainings in LA to make it happen that I'm here, sometimes I, I can be more, sometimes less. But Brittany is amazing, so. Yeah, Brittany is pretty awesome. Aww. We did a webinar last night and everybody was like, oh my God, Brittany was amazing. She was my trainer. People were pretty <laughs> happy. Yeah, we okay, pay them try, later. I just try to be that support as much as I can for you guys. Um, just because I've been there, I've been a student of Irina's before, and so I just want you guys to know that just because you're a student doesn't mean the opportunities can't open up at any time. Like I said, I got a call from her one day, and it's just like my life from that moment completely Change. has been changed upside down. But because of that, I'm beyond grateful, and I enjoy every aspect of my job that I do. Because not only do I change their lives, I'm part of changing your life and starting your new career. So for me, it's not even about the money or, you know, doing brows. It's for me, I'm changing lives in multiple ways, not just by looks. I'm giving you a fresh new start. It's something that you're going to be fantastic at, okay? I've been there. I've had to crawl myself off the ceiling before, too. I've wanted to give up. You guys have read Irina's book. She felt the Man, same way. Man, tell me about it. Go read my book. When I read oh, it, you the did. book was great. She read Thank it, you. It's very inspiring. I have Thank two, you. I do you have two copies if anyone does want to take it home and read it. It's a quick read. Yeah, so. I, I'll, I'll take one home. too. I wouldn't take yeah, it. They have it on Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. No, nobody handed it. And Irina of course, anything. all of her proceeds do go to children with autism, yeah. so she does not pocket any of the profits yeah. for her For the books we don't. Everything is fully donated. Pocket anything. She is doing it all for you guys and all for children. So, Aww, amazing, awesome. Thank you. More people in the world like you. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying my best to give back what I got. Mm -hmm. right. well, when I get on top I'm of your show, show you, because this one is more <laughs> rounded and this one is not as rounded, and I want to see kind of what you're going for. Sometimes when you draw on a mat or what, you won't get your shape perfect Wait, at the first time. Okay. Take a check mark. Okay. So when you draw, you always have at least two shapes. And you kind of go based off of which one you like better or which one is going to fit her frame better. So for her, she wants more of that rounded brow, a little bit more subtle. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to aim for, okay? How we looking, ladies? Looking good over Perfect. here. Perfect. You're looking good? Mm -hmm. Got an audience today. <laughs> Might be my biggest class with this audience. How did I? Oh, okay. Sorry, the Instagram guys, we did have some technical issues, but we are live now. Oh my God, this one's so big. Okay. Mm -hmm. I made it, yes. Yep. We are here. Hi everybody, sorry, we had some technical issues, but now we are live with a live demo by our amazing trainer. 
Guys, feel free to have any questions. Please go ahead and introduce yourself. We have already started the shaping process, so now we are live from the Insta as well. Guys, so just, you know, the, the Instagram live, it's not going to be long for a very long while. So you have the link into um, the bio. So please go ahead and join the link from the bio to make sure that you have the best connection. So the other Once you feel like you've gotten to a good point where you seem like they're pretty symmetrical, I'm going to have her at least go in and look because remember your client is going to maybe notice more things that could be off about her brows than maybe what you do because it's on her face she looks at them more often so make sure she takes a look and not just go off of your judgment so right now miss cindy i'm going to have you look at them and if you see anything that you want me to tweak or something that doesn't look even on the other side let me know and that's where we go in and we go ahead and fix those before we go ahead with the procedure so here's my question okay you go inside i go inside the line so that's always everyone's first question guys on social media right now for us is whenever you show your client they always go okay it's a big black box is it going to be a black box of course not our strokes that we're going to lay are going to be within that box so your stroke is going to start at the bottom or the top it's of that bottom line, line and go to the I bottom of the top line so it's going to be within that and then you have to think over healing time they're going to shrink up to 15 percent and then also fade anywhere between 30 and 40 percent over time so sometimes it's not always a bad thing to go bigger because you'll actually shrink to the size that you're looking for mm -hmm. I got a question. What happens to her other hair? Did you, did you pluck them off or something? Like I didn't tweeze any of her hair yet. Right now we're just shaping. So she's just that sparse. Okay. Yep. Not make her feel any bad over here. Hey, that's why we're here though, right? That's why we are microblading. Right. right. So what do you see? Because I, I see something, but I don't want to point it out yet. So for whoever is online here and you guys have seen the Vibrite live demo, she was one of the models wow, for the vibrate just look at her neck now while it's healed i can see such a huge I'm improvement to see because yes. i see something too and i just don't know if you're seeing what i'm seeing this is too good what do you see is that what you're talking about this yes yeah. well my pencil just broke sometimes your pencil will break guys that happens I'm just gonna have to go back in and resharpen it okay what else were you seeing cindy well, I'm not used to seeing eyebrows at all, so like you said, it's <laughs> So kind of for you, you have to look past that black box, okay? I do. I don't want you to look past that black box. It's not gonna be square, mm -hmm. okay? They're not gonna be black. Right. We're gonna go within those lines. Are they gonna be that thick? She's gonna be inside the box, but then they, what I understand, they do, they shrink, you said, as well? Yes, up to 15% in the next four weeks and also fade up to 40%. Of the two, you guys don't even bother to stress to film because we're gonna give you the recordings, so you could just that's the reason why we are filming so you guys can have it and always come back whenever you have a question. Is that what you're looking at? Because this line is a little bit flatter yeah. and that one's a little bit more rounded. Yeah, and she I think helps. when we talked, you wanted more you of like that rounded brow. Yeah, get you one. No, no yeah. Yeah. Sure you yeah. Put it on these? Yeah. 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 Worth it. So whenever someone does critique their like your own work and you want to change things, I never actually erase my lines because you're actually making more work for yourself. So for her, for this one, she actually wanted to be rounded. So I'm just gonna make this line a little bit thicker, and then I'm gonna correct it with my correcting stick. You never want to make your work more than you're supposed to. Okay. So then you're actually taking more time when right now I can just build on top of it and then take from underneath with my correcting stick. This will help. You're welcome. Also, I have a top, but I need to come slip them on. Yeah, I'm going to get it. Oh, now we're going to find out. Cryogenics works, huh? Yep. <laughs> oh, sorry. Which brow did she like, Brittany? This one? Okay. And that one's just more rounded, and that's what she's looking for, something a little bit more natural. So right now I'm just trying to round out this brow here. Okay. Awesome. Is 
guys definitely want to take your time during the drawing process. This is not something that should be rushed. The drawing process is the most important part of the actual procedure. Just because if you aren't going to start with that perfect shape, then when you're done, the shape still isn't going to be perfect. So you definitely want to make sure that you and your client both come to an agreement on the shape. Because you never want to do something that you're not going to be satisfied with at the end. Them and us, of course, as artists. So I did go ahead and round that out for. Yeah, that's better. Now, how this still looks, I want to open this up just a little bit. Just because your tail isn't supposed to close off completely. You're supposed to still have a little bit of room in there. This bottom line looks straight, straighter than this one. No. Mm -hmm. I see, I'm so used to not seeing any eyebrows. Right. And of course, all you're looking at is the black box. Well, and I'm I'm used to drawing in like old lady. Mm -hmm. Powder brows. I know. Sometimes the more like crisp little So this line. is going to lift your eyes. You can see it already mm -hmm. because you were drawing it kind of, of down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You notice that too? Yeah. You're going to love it. I can see the Once you get that actual confirmation from them, like the mm-hmm, oh, they look good, okay? Mm -hmm. Then now we can go ahead and lay them back. So let me clean up my space for it really fast. And then at this point, we are gonna wanna get our gloves on because we are ready to start, okay? Let me get all of this out of your way. Okay, okay. meaning that I have to... We're going to have you laid back, and I want you to try to get your head as close to the end of the bed as possible for me, okay? Okay. Oh, this oh, is... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> this okay, this so one. before I start, I always try to get as much of their hair underneath this as I can. And I also take off the ruler. Some artists don't. I do because from what I've noticed is it actually kind of helps their circulation. They don't swell up as fast if you take that ruler off. Okay. Before I start, I always just go ahead and I recheck myself, make sure everything, the lines are still nice and... Can you guys see clear mm -hmm. over there, home, in front of the cameras? If not, just tell me how should I go because it's hard for me to... See it on your end? Let me take a look. Yeah, I need to you see it look on your hands. hands. See how it looks? It looks like, so if you guys want to... She couldn't see it. She couldn't see it on me. Okay. Right. Probably want to go oh, up no, a little bit more. Quite, this is what you're soon. looking like. Yeah, that's. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Mm -hmm. That should be good. Yeah, that's. That's good. Huh? Oh, that's can hear you. I can hear you. She couldn't see it. There's a few people on there. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not. It's working. So she got three watching now. Yeah, that's what mine said. That's what I told her earlier. Is she not finding it? Can you guys see well there on Instagram? Say hi. Yeah, I like, hi I guys. I'm just finishing getting up. set up. I'm just going to let her kind of lay there and relax for a second. They are, they are not seeing you, Britt, because it's okay. super Zoom. But That's okay. You can still hear me, right? You're now. doing an amazing job, and they do hear you. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and get my gloves on. I'm going to get my lamp turned on before I get fully Introduce up, yourself, guys, and if you have any questions, go ahead and pull your questions, and Brina will be happy to answer. I'm here just to read the questions and to make sure that 
you guys see proper what we are doing here we are shooting all this and we are recording it and if you do want to get the recording spritz post your email address over there in the chat and i'll be happy to send them later on to you guys thank you for that introduce yourself please please where do you come from why are you here today what you're looking to see today i would love to see your comments over here Hey guys, I'm just filling up my pigment cup. I always just put, use like the back of a correcting stick. Watch your, watch your supply, you know? Can Save you show, us, show us in the camera how much you use to So this is my pigment ring, okay? okay. Uh -huh. So that's about all you should really need through the whole procedure. Okay. I honestly sometimes tell you to just take less because then if you take less, you can always fill up. You never wanna throw away a full cup of pigment because that could be, you don't know how much you're actually throwing away, okay? Right. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna let her know. Everything I use today is gonna be a one-time disposable use blade. Okay, never been opened, never been used. One, you always wanna tell them that because then it satisfies them, but also you're protecting your own hiney in the end as well, okay? Right, right. <laughs> I'm from the Midwest, so yeah. the Midwest, right there. they say britches too. Britches. <laughs> Put those britches up. Yeah. Oh yeah. So you can tell it's nice oh. and sterile because this thing is not one in the open for us, which is fine. Okay. All of our blades from our company all come with a cap, so we do have to decap them. But I also told you guys, you know, we never recap them. I'll you're gonna hurt that blade. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay. She does actually have some tweezing I want to hit really fast. Really good. Yeah, really good picture. Really good shot. It looks good on YouTube too. So basically she's just tweezing right I'm now. I'm just tweezing everything and I tweeze everything up to the line because then my strokes are actually gonna be a little bit more visible. But for her, I don't want to tweeze too much because she doesn't have much for me to take and I like to keep my clients with as much of their own hair as possible because then it's actually easier to blend with the microblading itself. So I actually just tweeze anything that's on the line and right outside the line. And you can also tweeze while they're numbing because once they numb again for the second time that's on for five to ten minutes and instead of you just sitting here staring at them you can always keep yourself busy and tweeze as well. So you always want to tweeze at least that outline of that shape. Also, we made you choose that color. How about that? Her, for her color, the reason why I chose brown too is because she's not a super cool undertone. Yeah. But because she does have more reddish tones and her hair, mm -hmm. as you get older, our hair turns more like a silvery gray. And once we learn about pigments, um, number two is actually the best for gray clients or white clients. So as her hair might change as she gets older, this color will actually adapt and go well with either color that she tries to wear. Okay. okay. That's basically a color that you can't really go wrong with it. Like, right. right. Whenever you don't, brown two. It's, Always. It's like anyone over Brown two old. and brown three are my favorite two pigments. I think for my skin type, like brown two or your skin type, you right. can't really go wrong. We're cool fail. undertone, me and you, yeah. so we can't go too warm in our brows. So. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started, okay? Mm hmm. You might just feel some pressure, but not much, okay? And you're also gonna hear a clicking noise. For our blades, you wanna hear a clicking noise. The reason that you'll hear a clicking noise, all my models or my clients always say, oh, that's my skin ripping. It's actually not. Our blades work in formation to actually click together to deposit the pigment within the skin. So the clicking is not actually their skin ripping. So I always ask them, when you get a cat scratch, do you hear a skin rip? Of course not. Right. So the clicking that you hear, one, it's gonna help you determine your pressure. And then also, it's just knowing that the blade is doing its job and depositing the pigment correctly. Gotcha. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. uh, they won't see, okay. I think I need to go the other way. Hold on. Let me see if that way will work. Don't panic, guys. Let me see. Getting a different angle. When I lay my strokes, I always like to think of brick laying. Okay, you don't want to make them consistently one one length. Okay. Mm -mm. This is a. And I always like to clean off my blade every couple strokes because then that way you're not pushing too much pigment through the skin, and then you can keep a clear visual view of where you're going. 
You definitely want to make sure their head is nice and loose for you, okay? You're so smart, way smarter than me. <laughs> Sorry, technology is not my strength. Yeah, yours is so good. Mm -hmm. You got it right on. Yeah. Just well, she's from Hong Kong, though. They know how it's with us selfie sticks and everything. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> Put the two fingers up. You're so good. <laughs> I've taught you that. <laughs> you always want to position yourself to make sure that whatever you're going, which direction you're going, you're the most comfortable for you. Okay. I think you got the best angle ever. You always want to watch your pressure as you're working through the eyebrow. You always want heavier pressure up here, mm -hmm. medium pressure throughout the transition, and lighter through the tail because the skin starts to get lighter. And of course, we've all been hitting the temples before, so this side is very, very sensitive. You always want to make sure you're a little bit lighter. You'll always see a lot more blood, or more blood, I should say, more through the tail and through that transition. Hold on, I'm getting smart too. So right now I'm just building the foundation yeah. of my strokes. I'm yeah, building fishing. that outline. I'm Sorry. Going, I'm going in right now and making a bridge. I'm learning from the so best. So if you guys see from our books or our latex earlier, you might not be able to get as many strokes in as you think you can, okay? Uh, no, yeah. I'm so usually now. as a beginner on your first pass, you can get anywhere between um, How many 12 and 15 strokes in the full brow. For me, because you know we're a little bit more advanced, I can pretty much get our whole brow done in one pass, including the volumizing. Oh, wow. Yeah. I call it boxing the... Box yeah, in the shape. Up. I call it foundation the ha building the foundation of a house. You know, when you build a house, they build the cement, then they build the outside, and then you go in and you can play and start doing furniture and all that. <laughs> so right now, I'm laying my bricks in the foundation of the house. Mm -hmm. So you can think of it however you want. Whatever works for you, just know once you keep going, you're actually going to lose her shape. So you want to make Gosh. sure you're getting as much of her shape. Come on, can you see that? Too. Uh, I don't see it. Yeah, I am. Look at the glasses. Yeah, right here. Okay. Uh, here, I got it. You angle. got it. Stay right there. Wow. You got it now, I'm babe. so tired. I got you then. Go ahead, go ahead. You want me to hold it out for you? Yeah, I got you. Teamwork makes a dream work, right? Yeah. Always. Of course, there are going to be spots that we want are going to want to fill. Okay, but I will do that as we progress through the actual procedure, okay? Okay. I think I got a good angle too, even I'm short. Do you still have your heels on? <laughs> I do, for the matter of fact. I had to dress up myself to really come here. You know that I wear a sweater yoga. and my hair in a bum and ripped jeans all day. Once you start to see pigment throughout the brow, it might be a good time to go to the other one. Since we're keeping her brows pretty pretty thin still, so we you not can might see be able shape. to add as many. So I'm going to just jump to that other side because I can always go back in and volumize. Okay. You don't want to overwork your nice area. Point. If you can't see where you're going, it's time to go to the next one, okay? I can show my mom. always want to make sure you hold that skin nice and taut mm -hmm. meaning that the skin is nice and tight because if it's not you're not going to get nice clean crisp strokes okay i'm sure if you ask miss cindy she's been hearing this clicking noise probably the whole time mm -hmm. on a pain tolerance of one to ten ten being the worst what do you feel right now for people watching zero i'm not feeling it perfect Awesome. So we do have some surface blood if you guys look over here, but she's not feeling anything, so that's okay, which is awesome. We don't want them to feel as much. It is common for people to feel it. This is not a painless procedure. However, we do try to keep you numb as I much as we can. I think this angle is good here. Yeah. yeah, we don't need to. I'll try to not move it. It's my Let me see. Okay, so I'm on. building the foundation of... Fixing, don't panic. So then when we go ahead and color mask and all of Brit, that. what's your password? Um, you can change 7411 it. 741159. 
So just. If you steal my phone, you know my password. Yeah, it, okay, I got nothing to hide from y'all. If, if it was, if it was someone all over the, no, it was actually pause when you said your password. So if anyone in this planet didn't hear, uh, bring a password. Do you mind if you repeat it for everybody? <laughs> Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's going public. Yeah. How about that? I mean, you have Everybody knows that. Yeah. So I hope your boyfriend is not watching it. He's not. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I mean, he can go. Go ahead, honey. You look through that phone, baby. Aww, Let's so find sweet. pictures of our new puppy in there. <laughs> so, if you guys have questions in the meantime, while we are masking with pigment, Brina will be happy to go ahead and answer them. So, please go ahead and pull your questions over here. Okay. Hi, Alisa. Thank you for seeing. She's saying, hi, I'm from New Jersey, and I took my class with Nina. Hi. Ooh, Miss Nina. Hi. Ooh, Thank you for Nina. doing this. You're very welcome. And just post your questions if you have any. Okay. okay. I'm from Los Angeles, and I took my class with Erin. She's amazing. I can't wait for her to move here. She's yeah, really amazing. She here. That's the reason why she's moving here, and we can't wait to have her. It's not hard at all. It's not hard as I thought. Remember, See, many people time. make it look very difficult, but it's not. It's just a skill, and we try to show that it, everybody can do it. Yeah, it's all just okay. skill. So at this okay. point, it doesn't look like I can add much more, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color mask. I usually just use the back of my tool. Less tools you use, less money you're going to have to put into the actual procedure. And this color mask is now going to sit for at least five minutes. And this just helps the strokes retain more retention within that stroke. So it's actually doing a lot more work, so we don't have to do as much either. So right now the client might feel a little bit of a burning feeling. That's just because we're compacting pigment throughout our um, skin. Those nice open strokes, okay? I look good already. You don't make no face here. Oh, here. Well, I'm very happy that we do have hot water, but we don't have tea. Like I know. They wouldn't bring us tea because they said you weren't here. Yes. I was like, yeah, she usually requests that. She doesn't drink coffee. I know. I do have my energy because drinks here. Because that's how Kristen was. She was like, where's the tea? I was like, Irene is not here, so. Yeah, no tea. <laughs> they like to spoil Miss Irene. Yeah. Actually, tea is the a big was spoiling. actually asking for you yesterday. She, they were like, where's Irina? Because I was taking everything out of storage and taking it to our storage unit. And I was like, she'll be here tomorrow. So you have to make sure you say hi to him. <laughs> I did. He was outside. Did he? Okay. All right, so this is going to sit on for five minutes. So you definitely want to make sure whether you have a clock in your room or on your watch or your I phone, whatever. Really good. Just make I mean, sure you're watching the time. What do you feel right now? Do you feel a little burning feeling? A little bit. Stings yeah. a little bit, but not much. Yeah. As a beginner, you guys might pull pigment kind of throughout their face. So I do try to keep their face sort of clean throughout. Let's see if we do. If we can do a question and answers right now while the okay. pigment is over. If you guys do have any questions about microblading the procedure or any type of shaping, or if you're having trouble with pigment, go ahead and start. How did you find it? Like we can start here. Maybe did you have any questions? Um, when I had found you guys out, how about that? It was like a year ago, and uh, and I talked to I think Kristen on the phone. And she was telling me all about it. And I was like, yeah, I'm interested. But at that point in time, my life was so busy. So it was kind of hard to get off work. So when I actually was able to come, um, now I'm seeing here, it's not as hard as I thought it was. It's not at all, right? No, it's not. It's, it's, it's awesome. super, super easy. It's just the practice what you put into it. We can provide you with education. I always say it's 50% us and 50% you. We'll give you the tools and the support and everything that you need to go out and make a career out of it, yeah. but it's what you're going to do with that information at the end of the day. If you don't go home and practice, clearly you're not going to master this skill. You're not going to go out and get a space and really start and put all of your eggs in one basket. That's when you see people with not the best results because they're not putting their time and their effort into actually mastering the skill. This isn't something you would just pick up and learn and be like, okay, I'm good at it. Okay, it takes time. When I got out of class, like I said, for the first six to eight months, I practiced two hours a night. You know, I would just sit on my floor, put a movie on. Most movies are anywhere from an hour and a half, two hours anyway. Mm -hmm. Why not practice as much as possible? Right. Practice, practice, on, um, we practice on our world microblading latex. So your latex is a basically a fake oh, version of your skin. So. Yeah. Actually, repetitious. And for me, my left side was always my hardest, so I made sure that I would practice even more on my left eyebrow than I would on my right eyebrow. That's 
so it's just going to Okay, so now you've made one pass I, I across my eyebrows. Yep, so now right now what you have on is the color mask, so your brows are just filled with a ton of pigment right now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and wipe that here in a couple minutes, and then I'm actually going to um, give you our topical anesthetic. Topical okay. anesthetics are gel consistently, or mm -hmm. consisted, so they have to be actually put on once the skin has been broken. Okay. It actually has epinephrine in it as well, meaning that that's going to reduce your swelling and reduce your bleeding. And then what happens after that? And then I'm going to go back over those initial strokes I just placed with our second step tool mm -hmm. that's actually made to deposit more pigment. So we're just basically building those strokes up with more retention. Mm -hmm. And, and that's how many rounds do you usually have to do? Um, it usually depends on your skin type and the color that we use, but anywhere from three to seven. But I honestly like to say five to seven because usually the more you can get in there, the better results and the longer lasting. Right. Be. So it's what we just did. Yep. But I'm going to go back five more times. Yep. I see. You got it. Now, do you uh, do you continue to put uh, numbing stuff um, between them or no? I usually don't, but that's why I usually say wait. If but I start to hurt. If you start to hurt, yes, but like I said, this isn't a painless procedure, so you are going to feel something eventually. But that's your body doing its job and it being like, you know, I've had enough, I'm getting swollen, I'm getting red, it's time to stop. So that's usually right at like the last 20 minutes anyway. Mm -hmm. You should be fine because the second topical anesthetic is way stronger than the yeah. first layer. Most of the time, once I put that top point anesthetic on, my clients actually fall asleep. So. <laughs> Can I borrow the charger? Does anyone using it? No, you can go ahead oh. and use it. Is mine dying on you already? Your slide and mine is about to die. I just want to make sure that okay. mine don't die. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and wipe this. I think that one's going to still, still work. Yeah, it should still work. Most yeah. iPhones have the same chargers now. Okay. Yeah, because of our new pigments that Irina just launched here in May, the consistency of them is so nice, but their retention is also really nice. Um, so sometimes you might not have to leave that color mask on for as long as you think you do. Mm -hmm. And you can see a lot of my strokes in there already. Hold on a second, don't awesome. panic. I need to plug awesome. my phone. Awesome. Okay. Aw, that's so sweet So because of my right side is my dominant, I am gonna start on this side here once I get her nice and awesome. numb. But if you guys can take a look here, you guys can see the foundation of my strokes already in there, right? Her mm -hmm. skin is extremely healthy and it's just taken this pigment so well. What I do. So for her I might only have to go over these strokes maybe three times. But you can see where I can go yeah. in and still fill, right? It really does. She doesn't like that. You're gonna can you just rotate it a bit? To the oh, really okay. So you guys can see the strokes already, like the base that we talked about close. it. Yeah. Taking it really well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply your top point anesthetic, okay? And actually after I mean you guys going to see that wow. the strokes will be a way more visible. Miss Cindy not laying down, will you cut me a piece of, um, what's it called, saran wrap, please? Some eyebrow right, saran wrap, thank <laughs> you. So you never want to dip your Q-tip in the anesthetic because it's not a full bottle for somebody, so I just squeeze it on the back of my hand, and then I kind of can just saturate where I think is needed as well. And then I have a student right now giving me some saran wrap and we're just basically just going to bake this in kind of like when you go get highlights they put film over it and then they put you under the heat we're basically going to heat this up so she can numb faster awesome mm, they're going to look so good good and i never let my clients actually see until one's fully done so then that way they're kind of not in the way or you know I have some people like, I want one here, one here. No, you won't need to show me till the end. Like, we'll we'll show you right at the end. How about that? That sounds Or we'll just let you go so and see what happens. Just kidding. Just go all the way to the end. Say hi to your okay, daughter. Yeah. I'm sure Miss Carly's watching. Hello, Miss Carly. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <coughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome.
welcome. So we have this lovely eyebrow film that is already pre-cut for eyebrows. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay that across <coughs> here. And this will start to actually sound for five minutes or her skin actually turns blanche. Blanche meaning that her skin actually turns more firm white. Um, darker um, Fitzpatrick skill clients will actually turn more of a yellow blanche, okay? Or her, you'll actually see her eyebrows turn pale white, okay? And you can see the epinephrine's working because it's clotting all of this blood in this eyebrow here. So that epinephrine's going in and doing its job right away. Great job, Britt. I don't know. <laughs> so proud of you. Miss Irene has never seen my actual work oh, live. So. <laughs> I, don't know I mean, clearly when I, you know, started working for her, she's seen my actual work, but she's never seen me work. Actually, Doing it's it. different, right? Sending pictures is different than actually I've seeing I've never me. seen her, like, performing live in front of her <laughs> students. No wonder you said that. Did you get that little tink on your arm? You know, it has somebody watching over you. Yeah. Oh, no, she's amazing. Boss, I know. I'm only right. my boss, you know, yeah. so. Awesome. But she's more than my boss. We keep in touch. We're friends, so it's more than that. So it's okay. I want to make sure. She's like she... my second mama. <laughs> Should I do this? I know, right? <laughs> No, do this. <laughs> I'm still young, please. Yeah, she's right. actually more of my sister, I should say, more than actually <laughs> my mom. She's younger than my sister, so she could be. And we share the same birthday. We're birthday sisters, yep. too. July 1st. Stop playing. July 15th. Yeah. July 1st. Are you July 1st? Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. How, what a small world. No, the 21st. Twenty first. Mine is five five fifty five. Oh, yeah. Did yeah. you play the lotto every year? Every year. Oh my gosh! Five million yeah. number. Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> my five five. Right? And I was a gift kid born in the hospital. Oh. They just opened. Oh my God! Yeah. Seriously, you should play the lotto every year. Oh, really? You should have got five kids. Do you have five kids? Oh my God! Oh my God. 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 Oh
all of her blood is coming to the surface. I'd rather have her bleed now than later once I start putting in more pigment. So I'd rather her bleed now and then instead of later on into the procedure, okay? Actually, the numbing started bleeding pretty well too. So because of epinephrine, it's closed the bleeding. So this is it, what it, I it, it, it does help a lot. Yeah. She's not a bleeder though, but you might see that some skin types, they are bleeding a lot. And once you apply the topical anesthetic, Jesus. it just stops the bleeding. And I mean, some people naturally have thinner blood. Of course, we all don't know if we have thin or thick blood until we actually get into the skin. So some people, you know, might not think or they might not drink or taking blood thinners and you cut into them and then they do start bleeding. I've had to actually cancel appointments before because we can't contain that bleeding. If you can't contain that bleeding, you can't see where you're going. You don't just want to imagine that the, cut or that the strokes are all lining up and flowing. So unfortunately, that's a very, very real case, but if I can't see my work, I don't want to promise you anything either, okay? Yeah, of course I didn't make that client pay. Of course not, but of course we don't know what our blood is going to be like as soon as we get in. That, that will, I don't think, affect the bleeding so much as your ability to clot. Yeah. Like if you it never like ever that. happened to me though that yeah, I got so bleeding that See, I couldn't I finish have, the procedure. And it's always like, it's only happened to me twice and it was right here. Yeah. But I think because of how their skin was, like, like dots, really, really puffy, like really dots, yeah. it was really, really puffy already just naturally. And as soon as I took that blade and just barely even applied the pressure, it just dropped all the way down. Oh, okay. So for me, I was like, eh, this might not be for you. Because at yeah. that point, I can't keep going over it. I'm going to bleed more, you know? Of course, yeah. So unfortunately, we had to cancel the appointment and she left with just a few right here and a few right here but yeah sometimes that happens so all right guys we're gonna go ahead and get started on this one i she is getting pretty blanched and white so what i do now is i go ahead and i turn this over but because there was blood on that i don't want that to be airborne so i go ahead and i reclose it okay okay and then again here just in case we didn't get anything so now there would be no blood actually born into the air or my hand won't be scraping over it, that's okay? so smart and you know what's so special about it this Saran company <laughs> no no you know what so actually <laughs> i've never i never used in the topical anesthetic this this uh, wrap i do always use this prior uh -huh. but now i'm thinking like huh this is so smart because you just don't go and like mm -hmm. smash it all over and like you could see we leave our artists to, to it's always a new learning process even from me and i'm like so blessed to Every time so there's something you got new. To show you different moves and if you, yeah. If you ever feel like you can't see your strokes, if you yeah. actually pull the skin instead of this way, pull it this way, you'll see the strokes open. Oh, okay. So on certain skin types, you might pull the strokes this way. Yeah, that's keeping the skin taut. But if you go this way, you might actually open the strokes and be able to see where you got the strokes in. Okay. So your Fitzpatrick four and five, those darker skin tones, mm -hmm. you will have to do that. Okay. okay? She'll be using a darker pigment and they might already have a good amount of brow. Go back over that, that now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. now I'm gonna go back over these initial in strokes mm -hmm. with this blade, okay? So with our second step the tool. And for you guys, I'd call it my mama blade because wherever our baby goes, mommy's gotta follow. Miss Irina follows somewhere around. Oh. So this would be Irina right here. <laughs> the woman in charge, right? All right, so we're just gonna go over those initial strokes. And for her, since she's already taken this pigment so well, we're just gonna go over three times and we're gonna see what her result looks like. When you go back over with the, the strokes with this blade, you shouldn't be applying any more heavy over pressure. The strike should the stroke should almost guide this blade through because this isn't cutting the skin, it's just depositing more pigment. Okay? Mm -hmm. So when you get that blade right into that stroke, it should just glide right through. You shouldn't be forcing it. It should okay. just follow right behind it, okay? That's how you're gonna keep those nice crisp strokes. A lot of people ask me, does microblading remove my hair? Because microblading doesn't go deep down as a hair follicle, we actually can't damage the hair follicle. Can we possibly maybe cut a hair? Maybe, yes. Will some hair might fall out? Yes. Your eyebrows naturally shed regardless, but we aren't damaging the hair follicle, meaning that it will grow back. So we actually do not go down as a hair follicle. That would be considered a tattoo. We play in the epidermis layer of the skin, which is actually the first four artificial layers. So right now I'm not adding. Right now I'm just going over everything. And usually you can get through about two or three strokes and then you can re-dip into pigment. Okay. 
and you'll still hear the clicking because once again the clicking is not her skin can you guys see clear I can get my head out of there. This light is amazing here. My lights? Yeah. <laughs> I tried to get ready for you. Thank you. This I morning I was like, she's coming. It. I'm just going to get all these ring lights up and going. Is, if it is a thing that I will really invest on, it's the light, lighting. The light. I just told like, them that today. Is the light is the one thing. Light is one thing. And uh, pigment is another. <laughs> here it's literally impossible to have those uh, electric beds because they are like extremely heavy because they have mm -hmm. the engine inside. Mm -hmm. But if it is something over time that you really want to make sure that you have it's a proper bed because I've been there done that I ruined my back, and this is the last thing that you want to do. So that would be considered pass one. So we're gonna go ahead and wipe now with cotton round and distilled water. This is when you do want to start to get gentle. You don't want to apply a ton of pressure because your skin is going to start to get raw, okay? Clearly not yet, but you still want to be prepared. Everyone has a higher or a different sensitivity level. For me, I have very sensitive skin, so the more you keep pushing, pushing on me, I will start to get red and swollen. Guys, if you have any questions, please go ahead and post your questions and Brittany will answer them whenever she gets it. So that has already been one pass with the model blade. So we're going to go two more times with our second step tool, I'm sorry. I have acronyms that I like my girls to remember them by. Just so I never, love it. They never forget a step. Right, my ladies? Right. Your ladies, but... <laughs> That's awesome. You are mine. I cloned you. <laughs> She's mine because she was here last time <laughs> and she came from... Hong Kong, oh my god. Like, I know. When I knew that you're coming. She came from Colorado okay, Springs. Springs. Okay. She drove. We drove. drove in a car. RV. Yeah, RV motorhome. She did oh a my true god. American style. Oh 14, the whole family. 16 hours, the whole family. So now we're at the beach right now. We're parked at RV at the beach. So we have a whole beach for we look outside, that which is awesome. Colorful. Oh, that's nice. Mm. It's like, um, just went on the escape. Kids love it. You're right, yes. That's nice. My husband like, you know, you might want to do a three day and then you want to come back. I was like, you know what? <laughs> we love it here though. We love it. I love the food. I miss the food. I can't find a better place in this earth to be. Like, it's mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. home. She would be lost if she came to Indiana. She'd be like, what is this place? <laughs> wow, totally. <laughs> Well, I've been to Albuquerque, so... Albuquerque, New Mexico? Yeah. We just left the other left there. I mean, it's a nice city, don't get me wrong, but... You're a city girl, I mean, Yeah, just, yeah, give it up. You're she likes girl. the hustle. Hustle and bustle. Well, I lived in Norway for eight years, which is a tiny little city. It has only, like, awesome, 400,000 right? people, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a big change for me. I'm adapting still. You're adapting really well. well <laughs> I'm okay. trying. So that was pass two, okay? So like I said, for her, we'll probably only have to do three passes. Her skin is taking two? Nice. Yeah, mango or something. Really, really well. Cheap. And comfortable. Very comfortable. And I got that suit coat thing at home. You know where. <laughs> I'm not a shopping girl. I don't spend money in shopping. Oh, oh yeah, thrift stores. Too. You know, I got my my best outfits from the thrift store. Seriously, I got oh, a lot I believe of clothes. it. I believe it. Yeah. The pearl outfits are so cheap. And I do too. You do too, right? She actually got a. She actually got an award for the best dressed at a at a thing, a formal dress thing we we found at the thrift store. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I think she won. Can you guys see? Like a, a here. Right now we're just working dollars. on our third pass with the second hand tool. Beautiful After this, dress. we're going to see how her attention is, and we actually could probably just start going into volumizing. Because if you see her attention taking it pretty well, well, there's no reason for me to go over it seven times. Because then I'm actually damaging her skin. If she's taking it really well, mm -hmm. there's no reason for me to just keep cutting her and cutting her, okay? Very second. Oh, I got the best angle ever. Can you guys see it clear over She's there from home? She's professions over here. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> Tech, it's, it's not something I'm passionate about. I, I love to outsource this thing, but um, it happened that I was the She's only like, one I'll I could do boss. it today. I'll tell you to do it. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I don't like the boss around. No. Aww. 
You're so sweet of you. She likes mm-hmm. some direction. Boston would not say that. <laughs> no, I don't. I never boss around. If I have to boss, I I fire. Mm-hmm. Like I, if I have to micromanage, I'm out. That's yeah. She's a good boss. Nobody in our team micromanage. Like, we get only talented people that they can you take care of their own. thing. Mm-hmm. Best part of getting all of us on a conference call and we're like, whoa, 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 so much energy. Right, <laughs> here. We all just love it. each other. We're all just crazy, bubbly, happy people. So, okay. I'm well, just trying to make our mark on the world. Okay, so that was three. So, what do you guys think about our attention? You think we could just go in and start volumizing? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I think so too. I think so, yeah. She does retain it really good. Remember, she we still does. have another color mask, okay? So remember, if we ever cut the skin, we have to go back in and use that first step tool, what I like to call is my baby blade, okay? And now this is where you'll go in and you'll start volumizing. You should always just work one eyebrow at a time. If I'm moving, don't judge me. I'm trying my best. <laughs> I did a video, a live video about a month ago, and they were like really mad because we were moving the camera, but it was like such a difficult angle. The tighter you have her skin, the easier you will be able to get these strokes in. Okay. So by practicing on latex and bananas is one of the best things because it's already pulled so tight that your stroke regardless should always be nice and smooth. Sometimes less pigment on your blade is actually more. Sorry guys, I'm moving, I'm trying my best. Mm-mm. I have, I have some for you guys, though. Well. I bring some of my own goodies for you guys. Yeah. What do you guys need? The ring? Yeah. yeah that's I have some. Okay. I always bring some extras. I just want you guys to be prepared. to give you guys the best tools so you guys can have the best results. And I'm trying to do the best video so you guys can <laughs> always have it. Okay. In between this, you do not have to do a color mask, but you do need to wipe. Okay. With our volumizing strokes, how many times do we go over them? One. Mm. The volume. The volumizing, those baby strokes, remember yesterday? Yes. How many? Either two or three, yeah, right? That'll start three, to yeah, give that dimension. Uh-huh. Whatever is necessary usually, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For her, since she's taken them pretty well, we're gonna get to three, and I think she'll probably do pretty good. Okay. She's all got pretty good. Mm-hmm. Is it still numb? I mean, she's oh, still she pretty blanched. I can feel it a tiny bit, but not, it doesn't hurt. Good candidate. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. You definitely want to prepare your clients for when they come in that this isn't something that they're not going to feel. They're going to feel something. gonna shade her too today guys so that's something that you guys can also see just because for her she doesn't have a lot of blending so shading is gonna be the best way for me to blend everything and make it look extra natural what 
Some of you used to do that. It is our shading tool. So our 21 round shading tool that you guys have in your kit. Should we get one out for you? It's okay, because I have to number before that. Okay. Yep. She'll get numb again. And she'll have a color mask in between. And... Now I always get the question, how do I know which strokes I just added? Because whatever ones look the lightest. You'll be able to pick out which ones look the lightest, and those are the ones that you just added. But we should go back over. And I always have people ask me, well, why don't we just constantly color mask them? Well, because then you're having the pigment do its work, and it actually might not completely stay as far down as you want it to. That's Great. the blade's job. May I have your password again just for the entire planet? Yeah, it's <laughs> 7411. Yes? Bye, <laughs> or yeah, wait, hold on. No, I don't know. 741159. Yeah, it's a so, check mark. <laughs> so just if, if anyone steals my phone, the yeah, or if you just didn't know her password, we're repeating it just in case. I'm okay. staying in Culver City, California. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. So silly. Airbnb. I'm going to come take my phone and change it faster. Okay, so remember when I was telling you guys about strokes earlier? Sometimes less is more, okay? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't want to overpack your actual um, work with all these strokes because what happens when she heals is that it's actually going to bleed and break in the skin. I can't figure if your camera is better or your screen, your, I don't know. My camera? It's a way better than mine. You think? You have a newer phone than I do. I know, <laughs> but I could see the difference. Guys, give me a second. You can always adjust your strokes to make them go a little longer. However, you have to do it with the first step tool and not the second. Our battery died for a while. Yes, because the second one just going to deposit it. Correct. So whenever you make a stroke straight, like longer, you have to start in the middle of that stroke and then pull down. Okay. And usually you do that with just your starting one. So then they all are starting that imaginary line for her at the bottom, okay. giving her that nice shape. We can go and add in. She's gonna move her head shortly. Remember, you never want your strokes to actually crisscross, okay? It's okay to slightly touch, but you never want to cross over your strokes with another one. Okay. Guys, again, if you have any questions and you want Brie to answer your questions, please go ahead and post them. And you said how you know that you didn't go, o you didn't um, go over that stroke is because it's not as dark as the other ones. Yeah. For the guys from Instagram, you guys actually have a better connection if you log in into the link that I posted in the story. Instagram doesn't seem to have the best connection. How are we doing? Doing okay? Me? I love well, it. Well, you too, but I was talking to Miss Kristen. <laughs> You're stuck here, my lovely. What sister think over there? I yeah, can't wait. I can't wait for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. mm. Sister, your phone is locked up. I can't figure it out how to get have a password. Which phone? She just it's did. my birthdays. Her five, birthday. Five, five, oh, five. Yeah. Ah. She was born on 5 five fifty five, and she was the fifth child in the family, and she was the wow. fifth baby born at the new hospital. You will never forget it. The it's very special. first Girl, and I would house, always don't go to the lottery and be like, I want five, 55, <laughs> right. 555. 15. <laughs> all yeah. the fives. On her 50th birthday, they had some scratchers that were That's a all the fives or something, five. and I bought her a whole bunch of those. But Aww. she didn't win anything, I don't think. 
Whoa. She won five bucks. <laughs> yeah. I think she, she bought enough to, um, to go, um, Christmas shopping. Yeah. 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 Okay, so once they start to get a little uneasy, what you can't always do is now jump to the other side and renumb this. You always want to make your clients as comfortable as possible. However, there will become a part of the procedure that you can't just keep numbing because the skin isn't going to... It's almost done anyway, that side, so yeah. it's just like baby strokes left. Yeah. But I do want to shade her, don't you of think? Course. She should definitely be shaded. Yeah, I want to see the shade. I don't even know where I want to add these little ones at. Can you hold it up? We're getting closer, I promise, and then I'll get you numb, and then we'll shade you on this side. I'm trying something magic right now. Let's see if it works to hold it above. It's super duper difficult. Let's see. I know, I know, I know. So once you can start feeling them kind of flinch back, Okay, you guys see it's close. Oh, yeah. Just go over those strokes, okay? And then I'll numb you on that side, and then we're gonna shade you, and then we've got one eyebrow done. But you can't leave. I won't let you leave. Oh, yeah. one I think I got the good. It's brilliant. I'm loving it. So do you. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay, so for whoever want to see a different angle, go ahead to the link that I posted in the bio, and that uh, it's gonna be. Um, hold above so you guys have both angles color mask this one for a second so any of the strokes so that i just added are change just taking a good amount of that from instagram to the and youtube we'll go ahead and get started on this one fix problems. <laughs> I'm looking how would I fix this one. You do want to grab me a shading tool? Sure. It's going to be in that yellow box behind the after pair. It says 21 round. Um, just make sure you read that tool though for me because there is a seven round shading needle in there. I want a 21, yeah. Seven might be a little no, bit work. too small for what I'm trying to do. Hmm? Thank you. Do you want to I know you're using those filters that we look so pretty on the pictures. <laughs> she have those magic apps on her phone. Mine or hers? Hers. Uh oh, she's been she's been our picture girl all week. Thank you so much. You're sure. welcome. Oh, that one's a seven round. See on there it says seven. Yeah, I need twenty one. I'm sorry, that one's just a little too tiny for me. So right now we're starting right back at that third step. We're just going over those initial strokes that we put in the first time. This is like a... Perfect, thank you. That roll for shading? The, Show me which one. The, the rolling. Yeah, the rolling. The rotary gun? Yeah. After I go back to Hong Kong and I, I will go to Korea to take the rolling call. Okay. Um, from my experience, I've tried it. Did you try this? I course? did. Um, I do it's believe that it's... Um, Is this one? Yep. Um, it's damaging the skin a lot. So more you damage the skin, less color retention you're gonna have. It looks like you're packing color, but you think that you're breaking the skin every single mm -hmm. millimeter. 
so I would say the point is to less damage the skin rather than it's very easy to use it is if you if you mm -hmm. actually I don't believe this to us I just want to see what is that um I've tried it you try it yeah I personally didn't like it I didn't like the healing results and I didn't like the fact that it it really damaged the skin a lot mm. so it's I mean a lot a lot like in, in latex looks great but once you do it on the skin it's like thing like that like 50 needles on the same time on like 0.50 that's just like a well, tattoo, like, it's like a tattoo gun in the same tattoo gun. yeah and it almost goes the same depth so and when it heals it heals like patchy and it looks bubbly it looks yeah, like what pixels. Talking about. What micro shading with a rotary gun oh yeah it, they look good the first couple of days, but you always, whenever a new technique of anything comes out in the world, you have to see what the actual healed results look like, like four, you know, two to four I mean, weeks later. I mean, it's super easy to use it. It's super really, easy to use it's it. It's super easy. You don't even need to, to fly over to get rain. Oh, wow. Like, I can show you in a second how to use it. a lot of breath. Yeah, breath. Asians. Who teach you to use this? Not by yourself. <laughs> Herself, her lovely self. Yeah. Who but taught me how to? But do you think have a special way how to do, do it? That? No, because the like our factory, like where we we do manufacture our mm -hmm. our supplies, we we asked about it and we they they showed us the the way how they do it and it was exactly the way how I thought that it's gonna be done. And I mean, like, who taught me microblading? Like, I didn't have a training of microblading. I figured it by myself. So I kind of like I didn't put that much time to test every single. Like I didn't test in on a hundred of skin types to tell you analytics and really deep. How, how, I tested in two people and I just didn't like it. How do you use this? Just drop the. Like, you just go up and, and back and forth rolling, rolling, rolling. yeah. And yep. Color. Yep. Exactly. Literally. Back and forth, color. literally. But because it goes deeper in the skin, that's what she means by it's damaging the skin. Yeah. You're actually getting a good result. And you're just breaking like the skin. Yep, just like a tattoo. It really looked like bold. You know that type, like bold eyebrows that they used to be fancy twenty years ago. That kind of effect it gets. But if if the uh, breathing so much, the color will. Boom. Yeah, the color. Yeah, yes and no. You know because it, when it heals, it doesn't heal uniform. It's like in one point you could have more color, and the other one don't have more color. So you will have like dots, like. It, it doesn't look uniform and natural, in my opinion. Okay, yeah. I can show it. Then, well, don't. I mean, second if you really want to go ahead for like it, weeks. go. So just to see, okay. been there, done that. Just like because the know, cost is so cheap. And I just want to see what it's like. Well, I, I, I can't tell you in five minutes what it's about. Like I would say you will never use that method ever when you can actually go ahead home and train your customers and you're going to see what it can do. I don't think you will ever use that ruler again. It's like, I don't know if you have seen yeah, those rulers touch. for scalp yeah, pigmentation just, um, more that when they heal is like bluish and like bubbleish and the color is like spreading all over. That's my, F, my understanding from trying that ruler. Okay. Like if it was something good, you would better use it already. trust me, you it will be here today. Right. <laughs> I, I like this. I like because usually on the, the first step, we like to yeah. on like a I love it. Procedure. How, how, how do you decide it? At the first time. Well, I've tried so many blades and I just couldn't find a blade sharp enough to make me happy and do thin strokes. And I've been to the, to the factory and I designed it by myself. Yeah. I just went over there and I was like, okay, what's, what what's the, the thinnest and the most soft, like type of needle that we can use and I've tried different um, different uh, ways how they're assembled, different tools and then I, I test it in, in the models and then I see which one is better as a heal result and which one it makes my life easier as an artist and once I, I cracked this one that was the end game. Now what do you do then? This one? So I'm just taking the color mask off because as I start to get close to build this brow, so I guys like to from, go back and look at this brow. From Instagram, if you want to see a, another angle from the top, please go ahead into the website link. It's in the bio.
I would say it's a better angle over there because I'm holding it on top of the model. I'm going to shade you to make everything blend so since you were super sparse. I'm going to shade it just a little bit and that's just going to basically blend all of your strokes together. Is that something you've done before? Yeah, I'm going to be doing this on that. Oh, she is. Her attention looks so pretty. Your eyebrows are asymmetrical because your face changes and they've lost all their pigment. So, you know, now if she had the microblading, she would have been able to keep up with the strokes and the shaping mm -hmm. and as her face changed and changing color as her hair changed and things like that. Whereas with permanent, once it's done, it's, it's like done. she said, it's done. And if it loses its pigment, you get really weird colors. So she gave yeah, all my sister-in-law had her in 93, mm -hmm. she had her, um, they turned the, blue. In the she had her eyebrows tattooed, just straight. Yeah, they're called permanent makeup. And now yeah. they're blue. Well, I yeah. can tell you as a laser technician, because I'm trained in like, like actual tattoo inks. Yeah. Not all black ink of a tattoo is actually black. When you think of black, back in art class as a child, you have to mix blues, greens, purples to make black. So over time, inks turn blue. They turn green depending on their undertone. That's how a lot of tattooed makeup will actually turn blue or green because they're not using the right modified pigment for skin. Yeah, most of the black that we think that is black is not actually black. It's super dark, 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 super dark blue. And when it starts to fade away, it's... It's getting it's lighter black. It's called the oxidized yeah, black, which is actually navy blue. Is there any way to microblade yeah. over that? Yeah. We'll talk about that we'll on day five. Be, we talk about uh, tattoo correction and removal like that on day five. Depends on how serious how it, it is in the hole, but yeah. sometimes they could be no, safe. But most of the time, no. Most of the time, you want to remove it. It's way better to work on clean skin than skin that's yeah, already been um, treated by something else. You know, a tattoo of that skin is damaged further down. Guys, if you want to see a different angle, go on the YouTube link so you're going to be able to see from the top. You find the link into the bio. And in the meantime, if you guys have questions, please go ahead and post your questions and we're going to answer them at the end. Guys, can you see? Do you want to come closer? Like with this, you have options. With that permanent makeup, you're not gonna have the options. No, you don't, honey, and that's the problem. Because all those people want to change their mind right now about having that permanent makeup. Unfortunately, well, eighty percent of the time we do have to do some type of removal. Some people need more. Some people need one session. Um, there's multiple ways. For our company, we do a saline removal, which is pretty. I mean, I I believe it's pretty effective. I mean, everyone's skin is differently. Mm -hmm. I've seen it a lot more effective with microblading, just because it's it's closer to the surface of the skin. People that have more of a permanent tattoo, they just need way more sessions mm -hmm. to get that saline in there. Yeah, look how look she is. Now they just look so natural. They do look really. Nice. So I still need to build up just a little. Bit. So natural, sister. Good. They really look. Amazing. You're gonna love the results. I'm telling. You. That's, I you, can't, you can't tell by looking. So remember this morning when I said we always want to measure 12 times cut once? I don't want to just stroke if I don't think a stroke is going to look there. So I actually take my correcting stick uh -huh. and I'll go in and I'll place a fake stroke to see if that's going to look good there. Oh, just to see what it looks like. Well, the good thing is this will be on after and you can wash it any time. Okay. Okay. So that's what we're going to do right there. I know. 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 I know
you're gonna be good. And uh, you know what it makes for so natural. She's like, like you don't need like extra. Really I can mm -hmm. tell you right now, I've had a lot of students take our yeah. class because they were trained on rotary and they don't like the rotary gun. They'd rather have a hand method because it's way easier to control. I've had a lot of people put down the rotary gun to take our course because it's not the same. This is a natural result, more natural. It depends yeah. on what your clients want. If they want that makeup-y look, then you could use that. But for the most part, 95% of people want that. I just don't do that. that method at all. Like if they wanted me to do like really bold I don't know, or like, I, 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 I don't, I don't. I'm like the natural one, so. Yeah. Right, so they might want to find the artist that is known for that. Where you're placing the technique. Hi, Paige. She's saying she's so excited. She's taking the training in December in Philadelphia. Hi, Paige. We can't wait to have you in our class. In the meantime, if we have I'm going to assume Miss Erin or Miss Nina will be a teacher because they love Billy. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. If you want to see a different angle, please go ahead into the link from the bio because it's. Um, I'm on top of. Yeah, <laughs> On top of Miss Cindy over here. I'm Miss Cindy. So you could see a different angle, which I think is a, a way better. Yeah, it was beautiful. What kind of flower is that? I don't know. It was in Alaska. We just went on a cruise, and, and it was. That was in Alaska. Huh? Yeah, it was in Alaska. It was all starting. Mm -hmm. and it's all covered in rain. It's like almost frozen mm -hmm. for, 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 for yeah. perfection. So yeah. many beautiful. It's their 50th anniversary oh, cruise. So. Oh, nice. Oh, I see your color. Uh, so clearly at home you'll be in a chair that can move so right now as I move my lying in your stroke so we can actually see them and then we just have to add a little bit sorry more. guys we did have some internet no battery problems <laughs> not internet not this time Maybe so next we time. are no it's not Tuesday that. right it's not technical Tuesdays right no but yesterday we did have a big glitch, so. Okay, so because we're at a good spot, she loved them, right? Hopefully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very nice. So you could go back on YouTube. I'm going to probably close the Instagram soon so I can focus on having a great angle one side. So. Yeah. When she's looked at her brows and you watch her eyes just boom. Right? Yeah. You, you see know? that pop like well, yeah, you saw you can that. See the surprise go ahead and I'm gonna have a, exactly. a different yeah. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, a different angle. No, no. Cindy, you don't have a good poker face. <laughs> <laughs> at all. Sorry. Um so I'm gonna have her daughter to keep in touch with whoever is actually going to be in LA next. And they can we usually have time for touch ups on Tuesday. If we don't have a model for removal, I like to show either a touch up or I like to show another model on top of shading. So then that way you can kind of see all aspects of the procedure. Just because sometimes it's hard to get people to come in for removal. It's kind of a little bit more of an aggressive or procedure and then having them come do that and then having people watch. Sometimes they just feel a little uncomfortable. So most of the time us trainers either do another model and do shading or we can actually do a touch up. And I usually like to do a touch up because then that way you can see the first procedure and then what a second procedure would look like as well. Because then you guys are fully ready. Because as a beginner, you might not start doing too much removal. Right now in my career, I'm actually doing a good amount of removal than I am anything because microblading is just booming in my area right now. Which is perfect because then I do the removal and I suck them right back in so I do their microblading. So, <laughs> like, let me fix you completely, okay? All right, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to numb her. You got me another pair of gloves, please. Sorry. While we are numbing, guys, if you have any questions, We'll be happy to answer your questions. Your eyes look so good. What size do you wear? Thank you. I wear a medium. I got okay. man hands. I'm sorry. I got man hands. <laughs> I can palm a glit or I can palm a basketball almost. I, I'm just surprised about her neck, how great it healed. Like, I could really see that. I know, right? Mm -hmm. She probably doesn't want us to look at her neck. She yelled at me earlier. Thank you. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> remember I had like really small Asian eyes and now they are just her open. bags on over her eyes kind of just like dropped yep you don't have that but most of Asian people you know that they have that are you, you mixed though that. like do you have Asian in you Irina no, no. I guess deep somewhere maybe <laughs> like way down the line I do like have a some percentage. Asian <laughs> <laughs> right do you ever have okay. yeah, I did not I'm uh -oh. surprised I'm really surprised by her yeah. I did mine it's a lot of fun Scandinavian Oceania. Shut up. 100% about it. Everybody, that. Like, I use everywhere. 
but I do have a daughter which is half Asian, so I guess my generation now is gonna be Asian. Yeah. yeah. My grandkids. Yeah. Aww. Aww, summer. Little oh, sweetie. Oh, my. We all are. Okay, so now we are numbing yeah. again. We are going for... ahead and numbing for shading. Somebody asked so if you guys want to see the soft no, shading, stay with us till the end. And usually my three-day students, this is a bonus for you because usually we don't show shading to our three days just because that's part of our five-day curriculum, but... You are getting a little sweet treat today, Jeez, honey. I'm freaking to miss you so much. I gotta go to work. I know. <laughs> She's like, I got babies Just for to a feed bit, too. Until I perfect my craft yeah. and then out of your job, <laughs> onto my own. Okay, so you numb both of these eyebrows at the same time, and you're also gonna shade them at the same time. So like before, we only went one eyebrow at a time. When we shade, because shading is super quick, mm -hmm. you're gonna want to do it together. Okay, and it usually should be a pretty quick procedure. So usually for me to shade, it takes me about a total of 10 minutes. Okay. So and it's an extra add-on of 100, $150, $200. I charge $150 like extra to shade. And if someone already had a perfectly great shape and they didn't want microblading, I charge $200 just for shading. And usually that I can do that in about 15 minutes. So I'll make $200 in 15 yeah. minutes, which is pretty, good. pretty nice, you know? Right. <laughs> and I'm good for the day. And, and that was my that procedure of throwing shade? Yes, yeah. you can throw shade, shade my way. Throw shade. Throw shade. I would say throw from, shade. I, I was not charging a hundred dollars extra. I was charging a way more extra, but I, I always. I mean, I, I charge five fifty just for microblading. Yeah. So. So I was charging twenty for twenty five percent more, uh -huh. from the original price, mm -hmm. and uh, I would say, one customer no. 49 customers out of 50 customers so it will be like 98% of the customers will get a shading gotcha. it's, mm -hmm. if they trusted you with their eyebrows they already got microblading they're gonna go ahead and they're gonna trust you because yeah, so you would you would recommend it to shade. them as part of their procedure. Did you read my book? Yep. What is yep. it? Have yeah. you seen that upsell? Yeah. No, oh, yeah. So, yeah. She's going to let us get a copy. And uh, I'm going to be tonight. Yep. For you because you're going to so, know you're only going to feel like, pressure. But I'm going to do it so quick that if you feel any pain, no, it's going to fill it in. It's going to fill it in so it looks like your makeup is not filled in. It's just going to blend those strokes. So when you start to heal, those strokes are going to shrink. So then that way you won't have sparse areas. Looking at the light in the tunnel. Yes. But yep, I use the same shading that I use for my eyebrows. Because that's what I use for um, this part of the procedure because then I can do it at my touch-up because for the most part for her She's an uncommon case where her hair or her skin just took this pigment so well that she didn't get super red She didn't get very swollen So for her I can go right into shading because it, her skin is probably gonna take it for most people when you guys see models this weekend You'll start to see like they probably not might not be able to hold through through the shading This because you're a newbie and you take your sweet time, which is right. fine. You should never want you to. it up. Yeah, but normally, like they should be able, in, you should be able in an hour and a half mm -hmm. to be done, including shading yeah. and super numbing. I was done in forty-five minutes. I say with the touch like up hour. and shading, it usually takes me about forty-five yeah. minutes to do a touch up with shade, and I'm done. In uh, an entire minutes. procedure, it will now probably more less you practice, less you slow down. Mm -hmm. But when I was having customer after customer, I only need one hour for the entire procedure. Right. But when I was a newbie, I needed two hours just for the shading, for the shaping. Of it all. Yeah. Exactly. Shaping is so it will take me like, take an me like hour. three hours and a half, four hours for the procedure, which was fine. Like I didn't have any training, so I had to figure out all the ways right. how to do it. So I mean, you don't need to speed it up, but once you're gonna get customer after customer, forty-five minutes to an hour, and you're you're pretty much done. You just find that technique and that motion that works for you. Yeah. So I know a lot of you ask me, you know, the way that we microblade, you guys see us kind of push down instead of pull against. That's just a technique that we've adapted over time. I'm not saying you have to microblade by pushing down in the stroke. You can come towards you, that's fine. It's just probably more comfortable for me and Irina when we do it, we push down. You are more precise because if you're beginning from the from the down point she, the customer might jump and you might just go ahead and, and, and finish the line on high. the entire forehead but you when you begin <laughs> like literally like think if she's moving straight or when but, they sneeze when you hit this yeah China spot Ooh. but when you begin from the extreme point mm -hmm. in case that the customer move unexpected there is no way in this earth that you could go wrong where would you go because you already begin with the highest point right, right. so that's why I, I actually i never go from 
the bottom from, from to the bottom top. to the top the just top. for the simple reason that it can move unexpected and no matter like how tight and how how strong it's my pull against their spell yeah if they move like uh -huh. i'll make a line till the forehead yeah so <laughs> yeah oops. Yeah, like, it was like, oops, I did it. So this is your 21 round shading needle. Remember what I told you, whenever you see that number, that's gonna describe to you how many needles are actually in that blade. So there are technically 21 little tiny needles in there. It might not look like it, but there are. So we sell shading tools of seven, nine, and um, 21. 21, okay. You guys have a seven in the kits, I believe. You don't really... Um, they don't. They only got 21 this time, but I do. Ha yeah. I mean, I have everything on me that I show them when they go mm -hmm. to order stuff so they can see everything hand on. But we definitely train you on probably the easiest one. I still use the 21 round on pretty much everyone. I do love 21 and I use only 21. I mine too. Some, but... Yeah, like when you're new, you might... It's the fastest 21 because there are more needles, right? But you might want to try a smaller something. number till you get used but as a long run when you become a professional and you know what you're doing mm -hmm. for sure you want to go with 21 because you save your time mm -hmm. and and what i love about the shading tool it's my one tool you don't actually have to hold it at a 90 degree angle you can hold it like a pencil and that's why i love it so much because it's not something that i actually have to worry about the way that the deposits being or the pigments being deposited in the skin the tool is doing it all on its own okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I just wiped off her numbing. Like I said, we're gonna work two brows at the same time. Whenever you do shading, you can only do a max of three passes, okay? Just because we don't wanna overwork her area. So we're gonna make this super quick. Whenever you shade, you never wanna fully start at the actual beginning of the brow. I always tend to start more in the halfway of the beginning, close to the transition, okay? Mm -hmm. Most people have their fullness through that transition through the body of the brow and then through the tail. Okay. If they have that fullness thick here, it's probably makeup, okay? So there's two different types of techniques to stippling. We call it, or I mean, shaping or shading and stippling and then also scraping. So that first one I'm gonna show you is stippling. I tend to stipple in the front and then with the uh, scraping, it just deposits a little bit more pigment throughout the, throughout the body, okay? okay? So this should be a quick movement, just like a tattoo gun. You'll, oh, we're just sticking it in there like that. Yep, and you'll actually feel the blade tacking to the skin, and that's how you know that your pressure is deep enough. Okay. Oh, that's Once you start to get your pressure, you can now start to go a little bit faster. She'll probably feel some amount of pressure right now. How do you feel? Does it hurt? A little bit. Okay, and then I actually work the pigment through, so now I'll actually just start... Hold well on, guys. I'm working on a good angle. Don't panic. Takes me a while to adapt. You never want to take the shading all the way down to the bottom or all the way to the top. Well, you're going to see it's on the other eyebrow, so I don't want to mess it up. Sorry, I should have started on that side for you guys. I no, apologize. that's fine. You're good. Thank you. So why don't you want to go to the bottom and the top? Because you still want to show a good amount of her strokes because okay. then it's going to be a full powder brow. We don't gotcha. want to over put too much deposit into her skin. We just want to shadow behind her actual strokes. Okay. okay. Basically, so, you just want to blend them to yep. look natural. So if like I go background. all the way to the bottom, all the way to the top, I'm basically covering up every single thing that I just did. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that would technically be considered one pass. You are going to wipe in between each pass. Did you do three on each side? Yep. I finish okay. one full one and then I kind of go back. It just depends on like you could go as low as one pass or you could go as depends much as you three want. passes. Depends on, what depends on of depth of it. By example, she didn't have like almost zero hair, literally. Mm -hmm. So for in order to give that effect that is natural, probably you want to go a bit more for her mm -hmm. rather That's than someone three. that would really have a, a base of hair. Yeah. So now we're gonna go ahead and just stipple again through the front. Like I said, you do not have to worry about this blade being in a ninety, and that's why I love it so much because I can control it a little bit more like a pencil. And you will learn this on day four, my ladies, and then you'll be doing this for the latex. That's technically your homework tonight. I'll be back in a second. Okay. Party. Hi. Hi. You're so beautiful. 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> little Asian queen. So we go over it twice, huh? That was two. You already can see her skin is pretty, taking that pigment pretty well, right? So you have oil well. You think you're going to do three? Think I need mm -hmm. to do three? I'm not going to take it through there, but I'm going to go wherever it's sparse. Right there. Okay. I don't see that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right here? Mm -hmm. It's going to give you two totally different results. So this is going to be a little bit more natural where the rotary guns actually make it a lot more of that powder brow. So it's going to give them more of that makeup look where this is actually more of a natural depth and thickness throughout the brow. So they leave two totally different results. So it depends on what you're looking for. Now, if you have that light, younger clientele that wants like that full blown ombre brow, then yes, sometimes that rotary gun is a little bit better for those results however it damages the skin more and when you have healing results it doesn't look the same at all compared to what this does okay do you have as much control with the rotary as you no. do with that I no because the rotary gun is almost a vibration just like a tablet yeah. yeah yeah it takes a lot of skill for that rotary gun okay so that's one brow so if you guys see you can see the difference between the shading and no shading mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. it just is going to pull yeah. everything together does she have a white hair there yeah. she does yes. but yeah. i don't want to tweeze any of her hairs out She's already sparse. It makes it look even more natural. Yeah, it looks more natural. It's got more natural. That, that's yeah, the that's variation in that depth. Yep. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to go ahead and start this side. She's going to love it even more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she is, yeah. Did she do the perma pen before? The what, baby? The perma pen. Mm -mm. No, it's a perma pen. She's talking about the, the shader. Gun. The oh. shader. The shading tool. Because like there was nothing there. There was nothing. There was literally nothing there. Uh -oh. Wow, you, wow. That looks so natural and full. Cool. Not saying you wasn't beautiful before. I mean, I'm no, just I saying the fact of the matter right. that now you got oh, her eyes. eyes? Yeah, yeah, she, she got, got, got she got her eyes on even to the dots. Yeah, she got flat right here. Her so dots are still after Yeah. I might have to You got it. She was she likes to be our model for everything. Okay. So whenever day you want to work it in. Are you gonna be here the five? Yeah, I think I might get the five in because I'm now I'm excited. Yeah. I might lose my job, but heck, I'm going to get a new career. You're not going to lose your job. You're going to go back and offer everybody a really deep discount on your first you know, I already got. I already told the girls at work. I'm like, hey, Julie, you know. <laughs> Ashley, y'all know. It's going to be worth it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So you can just already tell how much that shading is mm -hmm. just really Are we supposed to practice the shading on our latex today? Or no, no, not today. You just, just, we just haven't strokes. talked about the actual. Okay. Okay. Right. I'm just doing this because I want her to leave with the actual final yeah. result instead of having to wait for shading because I can't promise another trainer or somebody else that I haven't talked to yet. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So I want her to at least leave with amazing results today. And then if another trainer can get in on these brows here in the next you know, six to eight weeks, and that would be perfect. how long you let that stay in? You just, you just put it in there and then take it right off, it seems as if. Yep. Okay. We will do a final color mask right at the end. Okay. I know I wanted her to do mine thicker. Um, I wanted her to do mine thicker. I want Irina to do my brows. Me too. Look. Uh, okay. I need a touch up <laughs> I need so to bad. <laughs> I know Erin gets her Monday. Hello. <laughs> I already told her I'm dying. I'm dying. I can't wait. That's gonna yeah. be nice. You got the boss on your eyebrows now? For sure. I won't do one. Now I'm gonna have Aaron doing one of my other trainers. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe if she's got time. Because we got Do class you do them at all anymore, Arena? Do you do it? Yeah. I do it sometimes on the demo conferences. The last training I did a demo, mm -hmm. which it was in, um, when were you here? April, in May? Right? April, May. Oh. Yeah, then I've done. Uh, a demo. I don't do that much anymore because I'm focused more in developing and testing. So I I try as much as I can to come to the LA trainings, but you it's just it on to them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Pass nice. the torch, <laughs> right? Yes. We Amazing. enjoy it though. She knows we love what we do. So, so. you guys are gonna be here all week. Uh, we'll be here next till Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. This coming Tuesday. Not next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is. Today's Saturday. Saturday. Okay, so yeah, we I was started saying, yesterday. I cannot stay till next till Tuesday. Tuesday. I have to go to Seattle. <laughs> no, till this. You have to in Seattle. Um, well, I'm home for eight days, but I've been gone for three weeks, so. 
Okay. <laughs> it's time to uh, no. Change my clothes and my or my. Your scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be living in my scrubs here, so. Well, I, I lived in my scrub for a few yeah, years. I, mean, I, mean, I, I do, but now I need my new one. Possibility of getting pigment on yourself and it's messing really up your clothes. Cold. No, I know, right? Yeah, that's why I buy cheap clothes and I do micro blades because it's not worth it. But I always have my scrubs on. So There's... tomorrow, you guys will see me fully scrubbed up. <laughs> scrubbed up. I love my scrubs. They're comfy. I feel like I've got sweatpants on. I call them my pajama, so yeah. I just love them. <laughs> yeah. Yep. The There's a brand of them that Genou. actually is no, they make she makes beautiful, beautiful scrubs. I mean, are you oh. sure it's not Janu? J A A N U. No, no, she has two names. I'll find out what it is and tell you. I yeah. love her scrubs. Makes They're gorgeous, so gorgeous scrubs. I love. Well, not scrubs are uniforms, I guess you could. For mine, the most gorgeous ones are the most pajama comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. I'm waiting, I'm waiting right? yes, for her too. to come out with scrubs yeah, that have like nice. W M on it. Yeah. Yeah. And then like coming like, soon. We are working on it. I was like, I was like, so we, yeah. no, we've been telling her for the last couple months. We want like sweatshirts or like t-shirts or something. something. Oh yeah, Thank you. So definitely t-shirts because we would and be walking advertising. Right. Yeah, we are walking oh. advertisers for you. Yeah, yeah. I know. We throw her her ideas and she's like, I'm on it. I got it. I love it. Yeah. The other school, they have, they have, um, they, they take, they take picture of the people and after, after picture on a shirt. That's what I'm going to do. Show the number of the school. Oh, you, you could, you have that option as well. You could have that option. Yeah, you could have the option. We do have a, a graphic designer in house, so you just send an email to the support. You could have on the before and after picture your serial number as a student. And the logo, the logo embol yeah. embolded Everyone special for you. Okay. No, we do have that. It's in place. You just have to contact the company. And they give it yeah, you just have to contact those customer support and they'll fix it for you. And then you just save it into like your Dropbox. Yeah, you just send an email to Tara and she'll fix it for you. Tara. <laughs> yeah, or just contact support. Contact my support. I won't take them. But I saw um, Are you a part of our support group, right? A hair salon that does oh, lashes, oh, and she had a blanket that had lashes. Because we can tag Tara in it and then do it that way, too. I mean, just kind of cute. All right, stuff. so when you no, guys are done great, shading, yeah. you'll always do a final color mask just to hold the rest of that pigment in there for her. This will sit on for five minutes. Okay. Then we will go ahead and take it off, and we'll see your final result. Result? Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> guys, if you have questions in the meantime, we're going to be happy to answer the questions because we're going to wrap it up soon. Yes, yes, yes. So while she's yeah, doing her final color mask, this is when I tend to go over my aftercare so then you don't forget. Okay. So I know we've talked a little bit about, about it, okay, Cindy, but I'll, I wanna go over it for them and then anyone that's watching on our... Um, home? Yeah, home or anything like that. So basically for the next 24 hours, we want you to avoid touching and or washing them, um, mostly touching, but then I also like to say, if you have any animals that love to give you face kisses, make sure you're staying away from that just because of bacteria. Okay, after the 24 hours is up, we're gonna have you gently wash in the direction of the hair growth two times a day um, with a gentle, like, you know, organic soap, or I like to say like a baby soap because it's already in its purest form. Super gentle and soft for the skin. And then after you wash, you will apply our aftercare serum that I have here for you, okay? You'll apply that with a, a Q-tip and two little drops on each side of the Q-tip will work for both brows. And you'll do that two times a day. I want you to avoid using, you know, going to the pool, laying out in the sun, everything like that for at least the next week. However, sunlight, you do need to try to avoid actual high exposure for all the weeks. Um, heavy exercising for five days, you want to try to avoid sweating into the brows. And most importantly, when you put your makeup on, try to avoid, you know, up at that T-zone and getting into that brow area for five days. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Try avoid using any type of Vaseline, Bethanium, oils, A and Ds, all of that, just because the risk of your infection could be extremely high. And um, Vaseline and A and D ointments are actually known to pull our pigments out. So the aftercare serum that we're giving you is actually made in hands with our pigments, so it can. Okay, so I don't put that on today. Nope, not today. I'm gonna put a protectant on there today. It's a barrier cream. Yep, um, it's a barrier cream, and basically I like to explain my barrier cream as a screen door. Okay, it's gonna let um, air particles come in and help heal the skin. However, it's gonna block out any type of bacteria or all that yucky. Uh, the next day off. Okay. 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 It's my phone that over there. So 24 hours, right? Yes, but is that? It is done. Yeah. Okay. Did you came special? Hours. 24 so hours. Yeah. So Did you came special is, for the models? I don't know. What time is it this time? Yeah. Oh, it is almost You're six, right here. Yeah, it's 5 30. You should. Um, so 5 30. Okay. Did you go train for the Vibrite? 
Yeah. 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 You should. You should do it. Oh, yeah. That's all my students in Columbus. Yeah. You did? <laughs> yeah, they love it. They love it. Oh, they know. They're probably yeah. watching right now. They want to take the class. That's why they when wanted the to get Bright right done because they, they want to take the class. Yeah, they yeah. were out here yeah. um, Saturday and last Saturday and Sunday. I took my kids really? on Saturday. So you should know what you should see okay. if I should put it back up. Because I got a t-shirt to me. Uh, okay. It's only going to take okay. about an hour. And it's okay. going to go over the shirt. I probably have more pigments than the girls last month. And how it'll last you up to about a year. I should ask Carly about that. No, you can't. Yeah. She already knows. I didn't know. Yeah, I could. Trainer, she be already taking LA. And then she can decide that person they can. And you guys have time on Tuesday. You should be taking them about the rest of the day. I already told them about such a company. You have the time during the day. Well, yeah, of course. Because cool. usually, like on Tuesday, yeah, I, 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 no, 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 six to eight weeks, oh, yeah, but six weeks. <laughs> um, she give me a lot of information. Well, I could, she, I could. But when I ask my uh, uh, daughter, she's going to say, I think Rochelle's coming on Tuesday to be a model. We all see you there. All of her, and she's doing like oh, everyone that Miss Carly is sending me. Okay, sorry, yes. guys, you didn't see anything. Oh, sorry. No. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. This like is said, the final result. Her skin is taking this pigment really well, so for me to keep this on for about more than five minutes, it's kind of a little unnecessary for her because she is taking this really, really nicely. Now, because she doesn't have a lot of hair, it's super easy to get this pigment off. But because this new pigment has such a nice consistency, sometimes you do have to do that lovely cha-cha slide through the brow to get that excess pigment out of her hair. But for her, she does not have a ton of hair, so we don't have to worry about that. Zero. Well, you have more than zero. I see like 10 right here. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you do got some at the top. There is some. That's me, I got some right here. But now you have a whole... <laughs> now we have two eyebrows, eyebrows right? Yeah. yeah. Two full ones, not <laughs> half of one combined. I, I mean, I have partials. Nice. I'm being nice. The result They're beautiful. Nice. It is. But hands down, that's just nice. You're going to oh, have I'm amazing ones anybody. tomorrow, too. My mom's going to love it. Um, I know. Tomorrow stab. you're going to have... The same you reaction when you're gonna have your models. Yes, I know. I can't wait for that. And we'll be done by you. Yeah. Yeah. Just be careful. Hi. Hey there. This is my friend from Irina's here. This is my Hi. friend from New York. She came to do all my beds. <laughs> <laughs> this is Alyssa. Irina. This is my friend. Nice to meet you. Hi. Oh my been, God. She's been dying to take your class for forever. So you know when your new big cookie comes out. You know, when you let us take a bite of that cookie, she's my number one person I'm, I'm gonna hire onto my team. Okay. You are ready. Yeah, she's ladies. ready to be my girl. She's been asking, she's like, is she ready yet? And I was like, waiting on her. I'm waiting on her. All right, so we're gonna have Miss Cindy sit up, okay? Oh Whenever my God. Up, I like to so take nice. their hair cap off because then they can see the full result with their hair. Okay, right? okay so who was here at the very beginning, you guys yeah. gonna get a chance to, a oh, oh my I hope I don't remember. Hold on. Oh my gosh, cute. That's I know, crazy. isn't it cute? No. They're isn't so natural. Cute? Oh my gosh. Beautiful. That's amazing. Isn't it though, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's gorgeous. Wow. Look at Nashi. Nashi fixed her hair up. But doesn't it look so much better so now that they're shaded in? Like yes. it just looks way more cool. Yes. And do, you think, do you think they're too dark? She was having no. surgery on her. They're gonna light. Yeah. And they're gonna light her. They're gonna light a lot. Yeah. Take her to the hospital. They look fabulous. Can you look at me for a second? I know. Thank you. Morning. Uh -huh. You guys say hi to everybody. Hello. Hi. Hello. Well, We're gonna go amazing. ahead and say goodbye to you guys. Thank Bye you for guys. being with Thanks us today. Thanks for staying in. Thank Thanks for you. holding up with all of That's us crazies. Crazy. <laughs> so That's crazy. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Yes. Yeah,